Hello to everyone. My name is Giuseppe D'Antonio. I'm Italian, but uh, I will speak in English. Hope this is not a problem. I'll do it for two reasons. One is actually we are streaming live, and a lot of our users, uh, close to 75% of Circomi, are uh, non-Italians. And also, I think uh, since I lived outside of Italy for 13 years and just came back recently, probably I'll do less mistakes in English than I would do in Italian. So. Anyway, I'm the CEO of uh, Circomi. Circomi is a startup uh, funded also by uh, an Italian uh, venture capital. Uh, a couple years ago, we started with the idea of actually working on technologies to personalize more the web experience. So it is very much related to content. We take a different approach, though, from many other companies that you have seen. We are a team of 10 people based in Milan and London. So what is Circomi, first of all? Circomi is a web environment and also an iPhone app. Uh, and if you want, of course, you can download it and check it out right now as, uh, as I speak. Basically, it's a place where you express all your likes and passions in life. You plan them around uh, the world, and I'll tell you this in a second part of the presentation. And you can uh, also find, uh, discover new passions, new things that you might like based on the expression of likes that you did originally. So the challenge today is the challenge that we saw in these uh, two days related to content. On one side, overload of information, which we're, we're very familiar with. On the other side, also time sensitivity of this content. The challenge is many times there is even interesting content being shared on social networks. So the problem is some of this content is very much time sensitive. Some of the content might be very interesting, but actually less uh, time sensitive. So it's a pity that in the streams of information, et cetera, this type of content gets lost, because perhaps it's still interesting to us. So we try to tackle these two big problems of today's uh, world uh, on the, online. Uh, so who are we today on social networks? We are uh, basically an individual connected to many people. Very useful, the social networks that we have today, especially as means of uh, uh, communication and getting in co contact with people. A bit less uh, uh, effective for the sharing of, of information many times, because the people that we're connected to not often or not always share content that for us is interesting. So how did we approach the concept of being socially connected to people at the same time, though, enjoying a better content experience? Well, we first of all allow a person to connect, sorry, a person to connect to their interest. So the basic connection is between an individual and all concepts that could be in any category, music, movies, places, food, anything. And we allow for that connection to be extremely strong and clear. Once the user connects to this interest, then we bring a certain types of benefits. On one side, we provide the content related to the things that they like, either news or even older content, but relevant. And then, uh, as a consequence, we also bring this user closer to potentially other users that could share same interest, especially if niche interest. So the whole experience starts from the individual. In fact, on Circle Me, the expression of the profile is very important. When you access a profile of an individual, you really understand, based on all the things that she or he likes, what the person is all about. But there's more to this. So, we have uh, quite sophisticated technologies that have been developing on a semantic understanding of concepts on one side, and especially in finding out also similarities between concepts. So we can, in an automatic way, and also uh, we also have a staff to make this content experience even richer, but we can aggregate content. So if I say I like Coldplay, as you can see, you can access the page of the band, and you see not only pictures and the description, but even videos or even audio samples uh, or comments or people that like audio, uh, Coldplay. So the experience gets richer and richer. But we go uh, farther. As I said, we try also to understand similarities of concepts. So if, for example, in my personal case, I adore The Phantom of the Opera as a musical, uh, in this case, uh, uh, the system understands that I might also like other musicals written by the same author. And so it, it would suggest me to perhaps explore similar items such as uh, Cats or uh, Love Never Dies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we do this uh, also fostering this uh, uh, discovery in a serendipic way of content, also by providing a screen, uh, sorry, a stream of uh, uh, personalized content based on either the things that I do like, so content related to those things, 
or new things that are related to those. Furthermore, in CircleMe, in a way different than social networks such as, for example, Facebook, people can connect to each other but in a uh, one-way matter. So I can trust another person for the tastes that they have. They don't have to trust me back. I might be an expert of musicals and someone else an expert on technology. So I can trust those people. And by trusting them, I get the information on that category that actually could be relevant to me. The, the part that I did not talk about, but I mentioned at the beginning, is the planting. And other things that I think is quite revolutionary of what we're doing is this planting concept available on the iPhone app. Uh, an app which has been featured on the App Store in the US for the past two weeks, by the way. And we're very happy for that. Basically, the planting concept is the way to geo-tag uh, any content, any passion, any interest to, to any physical place. To give you examples, we can tag a book that I liked in a library for all my friends to discover when they enter that library. I could tag an item related to the architect of this building so that people, once they enter this building, to, could understand who uh, designed it, uh, who created it, etc. And this is potentially an infinite type of activity in which you can aggregate any type of content to any physical location in the world to any person, individually or for everyone. To uh, give you another view of the product, there's a little video that I wanted to show you, but I should add, oh no, the audio is already added. Start collecting all your likes by searching Adding and browsing. Discover new things you may like. Trust people with similar tastes. In order to get updated of their new likes, add what you find interesting to your to-do list. Then, go outside and try the Circle Me smartphone app. Where you can see and explore. Plant items around town, in public mode, or privately. Then find new things you may like or you may love. Circle me. Be what you like. Just a video that summarizes a bit uh, all the functionality. Uh, just to give you an idea of where we stand, we developed the, techno the technologies which I told you on the back-end side are quite sophisticated, and then we pr uh, developed the consumer product. We have been live since a few months. Uh, we're small, of course, we're a startup, but the good sign is that in the last, we're in the tens of thousands of users. Uh, but uh, the good thing is that in the last month alone, we tripled the traffic of the first uh, six months. So the trend is uh, positive. For anything else, these are my contacts. Thanks a lot.